Hello guys, I'm back from another video and today we're talking about What If Deku was in high school DxD. So in the last video we talked about how, you know, um, after waking up, it was basically like, you know, maybe like, um, midnight-ish, sort of. It's basically like, you know, like near about, you know, 9am. And, not 9am, I meant PM or, you know, 9 o'clock in the afternoon. And after, you know, waking up, he would start waking up the others as they would start leaving to go to, you know, Kuo. After arriving there, wait for a second. And after arriving there, they would be, you know, met with, you know, both the student council, aka Sona's, you know, peerage, and also, you know, the occult research club, or the orc club. Which is, you know, you know, which is being, you know, led by, you know, Rias, or Rias Grimmery, or I like to call her Power Hungry Bitch. So... After, you know, meeting up with them, they would basically, you know, tell them some questions, mostly towards, you know, you know, the two, you know, not, you know, yeah, the two exorcists, aka, you know, Irina and Zenobia, but after a while talking, they would start becoming a little bit angry, and also started fighting them, mostly towards, you know, a certain, you know, cinnamon roll over there, aka, you know, well, you know, you know, Aisha Argento, which they call her the, you know, the witch. As, while they were basically, you know, fighting, and also a bit of, like, arguing, you know, one of them specifically, you know, a certain, you know, um, reverse trap over there, aka, you know, Kiba would basically ask them for a fight. And so, after doing so, Izuku would also decide to fight with them as well. And so, after, you know, a bit of fighting, and also defeating them, and also stopping, you know, Kiba from basically being killed by, you know, Zenobia, then, you know, the night was basically over as they would start leaving to go back home. While they were basically going back home, they would be ambushed by a fallen angel. And after the fallen angel was defeated, another fallen angel would basically arrive. More specifically, a half-fallen angel by the name of, you know, Schrodinger. And, yeah, he's basically based off, you know, Schrodinger's cat, aka the, you know, um, the one from, like, you know, Helsing Ultimate, aka Mr. Catboy over there, aka Mr. Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> AKA, you know, you know, so ridiculous that he can't die. <laughs> anyway, you know, after a bit of fighting, you know, well, not really fighting, but like dodging at this point, well, Schrodinger would basically steal both of the Excalibur, you know, fragments. AKA, Excal you know, Excalibur Destruction, and finally, Excalibur, you know, you know, Mimic. And after doing so, he would basically, you know, disappear out of nowhere, and Izuku would just be pissed off. And so, after, you know, after that little fight, he would basically, you know, tell both of them that they should probably get some rest. And so, after telling them that, you know, they would also tell, you know, Izuku, in case if he comes back, they're gonna be fighting him with him. And even saying that they're gonna be sort of teammates, because he's not technically a devil or working with the devils. Sort of. And after telling them that, Izuku would basically tell them that he's going to be preparing to go, you know, go to school tomorrow. And after doing so, he would basically fall to sleep. The next day comes as Izuku would just be there, you know, in the same class as like Kiba. As they're in, you know, their, you know, wait for a second, stupid car. Sorry about that. Anyway, continuing on with the episode. As, you know, they're currently in the locker rooms of the, you know, of the swimming class. But while he was basically changing his clothes, he would hear, you know, Kiba slip, as, because he's, because he's Izuku, Izuku would basically run by and would see, well, him in a compromising position, to say the least. Actually, no, it's not a he. As after seeing her, let's just say large-ass melons, actually, I'm not actually going to be calling them melons, it's more like literal-sized melons, like, you know, about the size of, like, somebody's head. As, after seeing that, she would basically go into a defensive position and would start fighting him. And after, you know, a bit of like, you know, convincing her to basically not kill him, and also, you know, well, blackmail, they would basically, you know, stop and, you know, Bell and, you know, not Bell, I meant Izuku, and, you know, well, Kiba, or, you know, I guess you could say, like, sort of female Kiba. Actually, I'm just gonna be calling him, you know, or in this case, her, Kiba for now. And after, you know, well, that interaction, they would basically, you know, continue on class. And so, after, you know, the day was finished, they would start leaving to go back home. So, but before the episode end, you know, ended, 
we saw a little credit scene where we saw the lowly duck girl once again, or the, you know, goth, you know, the, you know, the gothic lowly duck, you know, girl basically there, basically saying to herself that she's going to be finally meeting her, you know, future husband, aka Izuku soon, and she would basically leave by using dragon-like wings. And so, that's where we're going to be ending this episode right off here. So, yeah, so... I, you know, um, let us talk about what happens next, I meant. So, yeah, let us talk about what happens next, ladies and, you know, ladies and gentlemen. So, after that little incident, you know, um, back in the, you know, in the swimming, you know, in the swimming class, we currently see Izuku basically with the others, more specifically back at home. As Kawaner would say this, so Izuku, how's your day, she would say, as, you know, Irina would just be there, basically like eating dinner, as you would say this. Yeah, pretty good, as he would mutter under his breath, except for the part of being blackmailed, he would say to himself. As, you know, as, you know, while he was saying that, you know, um, a certain, you know, blue-haired girl, aka, you know, aka Zenobia would hear this, as Zenobia would think to herself, wait, blackmailed, she would say, as she would start becoming a little bit worried. Sorry about that, anyway, continue on with the episode, as after, you know, saying that, she would say this, you know, specifically, you know, Yuina, as she would say this, so, Izuku, she would say, as he would say this, uh, yeah, Irina, he would say, as she would say this, well, um, about, you know, um, how do we say this, she would start, you know, looking at Izuku, as she would say this, um, do you perhaps, you know, have a girlfriend, she would say, or at least, sort of, I mean, you still have, you know, well, well, that, you know, the, you know, the secret error, she would say, as you would say this, no, not particularly, I mean, I need to be loyal to, you know, well, to, you know, to Sona, he would say, so I don't really need to get a girlfriend, he would say, as she would say this, uh, I see, she would say, as she would start thinking to herself, Maybe you can, you know, try and make him, you know, fall in love with me so she can, you know, so he can basically join the, you know, the church side, she would say to herself. As after saying that to herself, she would say, oh, I see then, um, well, um, Izuku, she would say, as he would say this, yeah, Irina, he would say, as she would say this, well, um, do you, um, she would say, as she would start looking around, as she would say this, well, um, I wanted to ask, is there a way to, you know, turn a person into a ghoul, by any chance, she would say, as Izuku was a little bit surprised, but would just, you know, narrow his eyes a little bit, sort of, he more or less looks like he's, you know, a bit worried about hearing that, as he would say this, well, there is, but I would rather if you're not, he would say, as she would say this, wait, really? Then how, as he would say this, I said I would rather not. Besides, it's a bit dangerous to do that, and if I were to do that, then, well, let's just say your humanity would just be lost, you would say. The fuck? <laughs> Sorry about that, anyway, continuing on with the episode, as you know, um, as she would see this, um, um, I see, then, um, if I may ask, how do you do, as you would see this, I would rather not talk about it. Besides, you'll lose your humanity if you want to become one. And why do you even want to ask that question, he would say. As she would say this. Well, um, well, I was sort of curious, she would say. As, you know, the others would also be a little bit curious as well. Because, you know, he's definitely not, because, you know, they're a bit, you know, intrigued about, like, hearing that he's not, you know, either devil, angel, you know, devil, angel, fallen angel, um, Either, like, you know, sort of like, you know, um, yokai-ish, I guess. Well, he's not technically a yokai. I mean, he definitely wants to get, you know, the DNA of a yokai. You know, definitely wants to get the DNA of a yokai, but not right now. As, you know, he would say this. Um, anyway, um, I should get some sleep. Ugh, tomorrow is school again, he would say. As she would say this. Oh, I see. Then, um, as he would say this. Oh, and by the way, he would say... As she would say this, what is it she would say, as Zenobia would listen to, as she would say this, well, um, 
I want you to come with me to school, in case of like something happening. After all, those fallen angels are certainly dangerous. As after saying that, one of them would say this. Oh, I see then, she would say, as you would say this. I can certainly give you a weapon if you want, she would say. As you know, um... Wait for a second. As Irina would say this. Wait, really? Then, thank you, she would say. As you would say this. Right. As you would start looking towards, you know, well, Zenobia, as you would say this. Do you... don't... do you have a weapon right now, he would say, as she would say this. Yes, she would say, as she would pull out her sword, which... As it would show off a large sword, which seemed to have a, you know, a mostly, like, blue base, but... The more sharper parts of the blade, as in, you know, the edges, are golden, as you would say, Wait, is that? As she would say this, yes. That's the Randall, she would say. As you would say this, that's... That's certainly... As you would start touching the blade, you know, edge. As you would get cut by it. As Irina would say this, is you going okay, she would say. As you would say this, don't worry, besides... As the wound would start healing instantly. As she would say, oh, yeah instant healing, she would say, as you would say this, yeah, anyway, as you would start looking at the sword with intent, as you would say, that is certainly surprising, he would say, I mean, the legendary, you know, dragon slayer sword, right next to the legendary Gram, he would say, it's certainly quite interesting, where did you actually get this, he would say, as she would say this, well, um, it's quite the secret, she would say, as he would say this, hmm, fine then, Keep your secrets, he would say, but either way, um, I just finished dinner, he would say, as after finishing it, you know, after saying that, he would start moving to the kitchen or the sink as he would put his, you know, his, you know, finished plate down there, as after doing so, he would say goodnight to the others, and so he would basically go back, you know, to his bedroom, and would instantly fall asleep. So, after waking up, brushing his teeth, and also changing his clothes, he would start leaving to go to class as the two girls were basically with him. As, while he was basically, you know, going towards, you know, Kuo, several of the people there would basically start eyeing him and the other girls, as one of them would say this. Woo woo! As said one of the boys, as one of them would say this. Huh, what is a, you know, a pretty nice girl over there with, you know, Izuku-san? Said one of them. As some of the girls would say, Don't tell me that one of those girls is actually his girlfriend, one of them would say. As saying that, you know, one of them would say this. Don't tell me that they're actually going to be students here. Oh god, one of them would say. As one of them would say this. Why is that blue haired girl basically with Izuku? Like said, you know, said one of the girls. As one of them would say this. If she is Izuku's girlfriend then. Oh crap, said one of them. As you know, Izuku was just like ignoring all of the comments. As for, you know, both Irina and also, you know, Zenobia, they were a bit embarrassed. As for Izuku, he would just ignore all of it. And after, you know, arriving in class, he would basically tell both of them to go to the orc, you know, to the orc club for now. As after saying that, they would basically agree, and they would start leaving there. And he would start calling up, you know, well, Rias, that, you know, they're gonna be going to the orc club to basically stay there for now. They wanted to tell them a little bit more about, you know, some other stuff. As after saying that, you know, you know, she would basically respond, or at least, you know, you know, get the text from that response. As after texting back, she would say, sure then, but you need to, you know, at least, you know, help me out for a sec, she would say. As he would say this, sure, what is it, he would say, or at least text. As, you know, the text, you know, as the, you know, response would say, um, I want you to help me out with something important. More specifically with, you know, regards to a certain, you know, in regards of the, you know, Excalibur, you know, getting stolen, she would say, or at least text. As you would say this, sure. Um, is Sona gonna be there? As after texting that out, she would basically send in a pretty annoyed emoji. Like a, you know, like an annoyed face. As you would say this, oh come on, he would say. As she would say this, yeah, she'll be there. She's currently, you know, setting up barriers. As he would say this, barriers for what? Or at least text it out. As she would say this, ugh. We'll talk about it later, but for now, go back to class, she would say. As he would say this, yeah, sure, Miss, you know, um, you know, Miss Grammarie, he would say. As, after doing so, wait for a second, god dang it. And after doing so, he would basically, you know, um, you know, hang up. As, after finishing talking with, you know, texting her, he would start going back to class. 
as he is currently basically in his seat, as some of the girls there are basically just like, you know, well, would instantly start coming towards him, as he would ask him many questions about the girls basically with him, as he would explain that they're basically like childhood friends of his, and they basically visited to basically, you know, see him again, and told them that they were just here to basically meet up with, you know, some, some other friends of his, as after saying that, you know, they would ask if, you know, if they're like, you know, um, like, you know, some other things, like, for example, are they your girlfriend or something, or are they, you know, um, just friends or things of that sort, he would basically explain that they're just friends. And besides, they're just basically staying with him for now. They don't really have anything, you know, anywhere, you know, to basically stay at. Which caused most of the girls to instantly become a little bit angry. Mostly towards, you know, the other girls, as in, you know, Zenobia and also Irina, thinking that they're going to steal Izuku away from them. And as for some of the girls that are actually from the Kendo Club, they would basically decide to report it to, you know, to their leader, which was, I think, uh... Which was, you know... You know, Murayama. Yeah, Murayama. As, you know, after basically testing that out, you know, she would start becoming a little bit fuming, thinking that, you know, Izuku is definitely gonna be stolen from her. Yeah, I'm gonna be adding her to the harem. <laughs> oh, God. As, you know, her other friend by the name of... Being Katase, as Katase was also pretty mad as well. And also maybe planning to, you know, at least, you know, try and find a way to basically make Izuku hers. So, back with Izuku. As after a while of basically, you know, doing so, Izuku would just basically just, like, you know, do his own thing, basically, like, laying down as you would hear, you know, some of the lectures from the teacher. As after, you know, a few, you know, a few, like, you know, hours have basically gone by, it was finally lunchtime, where he would start leaving to go to, you know, to the orc club room. As after walking... Towards the orc room, he would finally arrive there, as he would notice the rest of the people there, including, the, you know, the student council, as he would say this. So, um, hey guys, he would say, as, you know, you know, Sona would say this, oh, um, hi, Izuku, she would say, as you would say this, hello there, you know, Sona, he would say, I also wanted to ask, why are you setting up barriers, he would say, as she would say this, well, after getting your message, you know, from last night, and after hearing that you were attacked by fallen angels, well, we decided to basically set up some barriers in case of the attack. As he would say this. Hmm. Quite smart. But still, he would say. As one of them would say this. Still what? Said, you know, Sabaki. Not Sabaki, I meant, you know. I meant Saji, not Sabaki. As Saji, after saying that, he would say this. Well, um, you see, I think that they know what is their plan, he would say, as one of them would say this. Really, then what is it, said, you know, Irina, as he would say this. Um, it's still working theory, but maybe they're planning to use the Excaliburs to create the true Excalibur, he would say, as it would cause several people to basically, you know, look at him. As, you know, one of them specifically, you know, um, Irina would say this. Hmm, I mean, that's a good theory, but still, she would say, as, you know, one of them specifically, you know, Sona would say this. Yeah, I mean, if that fallen angel, which I think is probably, like, super strong, really meets the Excalibur, then why why do it in the first place? I mean, he can probably either destroy us in an instant or something of that sort. But it's still a maybe, she would say. As he would say this. Yeah, true, but still, he would say. As, after saying that, one of them would say this. Well, I do have another theory, said, you know, Sona, she would say. As, he would say this. Then what is it, he would say. As, she would say this. Well, you see, but after, you know, but before she can actually say it, a large, you know, a large blast of, you know, energy would basically, you know, come out of nowhere. As, it would basically, you know, cause several people, or at least, you know, all, all of them to basically move out of the way. As... For Izuku, Izuku didn't really care, but he was a bit, you know, you know, a little bit startled after, you know, seeing the blast, as, you know, most of the people there basically dodged out of the way, including Issei, as she was basically, you know, a bit surprised seeing the blast, which was, you know, about the size of a bullet, but can certainly pack a punch, as, as they would look towards the direction of where it was shot, as this person, well, was Schrodinger. As he would say this, Oh, guten dog, he would say. As he would say this, specifically, you know, Izuku. Well, it seems that you finally arrived, he would say. 
As he would say this. Well, it's finally nice to meet you, he would say. Now, I am here in the under... I meant, you know, wait for a second. I'm here under the orders of the Grimori. More specifically from Cocobiel, he would say. As after saying that, he would say this. Now, I want to say this. All of you are going to die here, he would say. As after saying that, you know, all of them would just look at him. As he would say this. That's right. After all, you're going to be the first victims of the Great Excalibur, he would say. As he would say this. Specifically, Izuku. Hmm. Certainly cocky, he would say. As he would say this. Well, it is. But still, we're certainly going to win, he would say. Now, ta-ta. But before he can actually do anything, Izuku would jump towards him and would slice his head off with this, you know, with this, you know, with this, you know, wait for a second. With his queen key, which caused, you know, all of them just, you know, look at him with... You know, with just like surprise, as Sona would say this. Izuku, what did you do? As he would say this. Kill him, he would say. As after doing so, he would decide to, you know, open up his, you know, his, you know, his queen key, as before he can actually, you know. God dang it. Wait for a second. Sorry about that. Anyway, continuing on with the episode. As before he can actually use his, you know, his, you know, queen key to basically shoot, you know, the syringe into his body. His body would instantly disappear. As he would say, What in the? As his body would start deforming, turning into bones, then skin, then sinew, and then finally, you know, well, the actual mind. As he would say this, Ooh, well, that was certainly interesting, he would say. Now, see ya, he would say, as he would basically salute to the, you know, you know, to Izuku and, you know, to the others, as he would disappear into smoke. As before he can actually get slashed by Izuku, he would disappear. As he would say, SHIT, he would say. As after saying that, you know, Sona was surprised, as she would say, ah, It seems that, well, it seems that Kokubil is the one doing this, she would say. As, you know, one of them would say this. You mean that Kokubil said, you know, um, a surprise Riaz, as he would say this. Yeah, it seems so, said Izuku. As one of them would say this, specifically, you know, well, Issei. Um, mind telling me who is this Kokobiel person, she would say? Uh, she would say, um, who is this Kokobiel person again, she would say? As one of them would say this. Well, if you don't know, said Riaz, well, Kokobiel is considered as one of the, you know, elite generals of the Grand Mori, aka the Fallen Angel faction, she would say. As Izuku would say this. Yeah, not only that, he's quite strong. Probably even stronger than you right now, she would say, and then he would say, as Issei was a bit surprised, as she would say, wait, that means she, that means he's stronger than the, than the Red Dragon Emperor, or, or in this case, Empress, Izuku would say, as she would say this, yeah, yeah, I know, she would say, as, you know, after saying that, Izuku would say this, yeah, so because of that, I guess you should probably start getting to training, he would say, as she would say this, um, I guess so, she would say, as he would say this. Hmm, he would basically smile as he would say this. Well then, because you're going to be training to basically try and fight the guy, well then, as he would basically look at, you know, Issei, as he would say this. How would you try and train with me, he would say. As all of them would, you know, would be surprised, as, you know, Issei would say this. Wait, really, she would say? As he would say this, yeah. And I mean, it's been a while since, you know, it's been a while since I actually get to hang out with you, he would say. As she would say this, wait, really? She would say, as he would say this, yeah, um, we can start training tomorrow, he would say, after all, it's going to be the weekend, he would say, as she would say this, then, let's do this, she would say, as after saying that, you know, she would start, you know, you know, you know, start walking up to Izuku, as she would say this, oh, and by the way, she would say, for something a little bit more, as she would start, you know, looking towards Izuku's, you know, junk, as Izuku would say this, uh, I'm not doing that easy. Besides, even though I, you know, I don't care about your perverted ways, but sometimes I start to think that I should probably, you know, um, how do I say this, he would say, as he would basically, you know, grab, like, you know, one of those, like, you know, um, paper fans, and you smack her right on the top, like, on top of her head, as she would start, you know, covering her head with, you know, with a, you know, um, you know, with her hands, as you would say this, would probably send you to, you know, I don't know, to jail for basically sexual harassment, he would say, as after saying that, he would start leaving, as after doing so, you know, Soda would just look at Issei with, you know, a little bit of disgust and anger, because remember, 
she's going to be marrying Izuku because of the whole, like, you know, Citri Law. And as for, you know, well, for Rhea as well, she's not really angry per se, but more like, you know, jealous to say the least. And as for, you know, Akeno, well, she really wants to do that. <laughs> at this point, she just wants to, you know, let's just say dominate Izuku at this point. And as for the, you know, two other girls, aka, you know, Irina and, you know, Zenobia, they would start following Izuku and would start leaving. So, after doing so, you know, Sona would say this. I should probably find a way to basically take care of Izuku from her, she would say. As after saying this, you know, the rest of the girls would basically, you know, do their own thing. And, you know, and if you're asking, well, currently, you know, we currently see, you know, a pretty angry sort of, you know, a pretty sort of angry, you know, um, you know, um, you know, you know, Kiba, as Kiba is maybe planning to get her revenge against, you know, the, you know, people that are more specifically the Excaliburs. And also a little bit of a side tangent, um, I wonder if you guys want me to, you know, maybe make a series about, you know, not really a series, but more like a what if. Um, I've been, you know, um, I've recently gone, you know, into a new fandom. Yeah, no surprise there. And in this case, it's... Azure Line. Yeah. And so, because of that, I may be planning to maybe make a what if about it. Maybe. Just a maybe, but, you know, maybe after, you know, my other what if, the, you know, the what if Deku was, you know, was in Kill a Kill, slash, you know, the, or at least a redo, or the redo, like, you know, what if Deku was, you know, was in FGO, sort of. And if you want that, just comment down below, because I sort of gone into the, you know, into this idea of making, like, a, you know, a what if about, like, Azure Lane, just because of a little, like, you know, fanfic and, like, what pad. Yeah, that's how I gone into it. <laughs> anyway, continuing on with the episode. So, as we currently see, you know, Isiku and, you know, and the two other girls, aka, you know, um, Zenobia and also, you know, Rina Bisky, you know, Right behind them, Zenobia would say this. So, um, Izuku, she would say, as you would say this, uh, yeah, Zenobia, he would say, as uh, she would say this, well, um, I wanted to ask, can we join you in your training, she would say, as he would just blink a little, as he would say this, uh, sure, he would say, I don't really mind, he would say, as after saying that, both of the girls would basically have this nice smile. As after saying that, they would finally arrive back home, and after eating dinner, they would basically fall asleep. So, the next day has come, as we currently see Izuku basically with the other, you know, with, you know, well, you know, with, you know, our favorite little pervert over there. Not really, in canon, I, ra I would rather die than ever be his friend. Uh, but in this universe, at least she's, you know, somewhat nicer, and not that perverted, at least sort of. As this person was easy, as easy would say this. So, um, Izuku, what are we supposed to do? As Izuku would say this, hmm. First of all, he would say, as he would basically create something. Not really create, but more like grab something. As this something seems to be a small combat knife, as he would say this. So, I want you to try and train in your, you know, hand to hand combat, he would say. As she would say this, eh? But why a knife, he would say, she would say. As he would say this. No, it's not really for you, he would say, as you would grab the knife and goes into, you know, a sort of like, you know, um, you know, battle ready stance, as, as easy could say this. I want you to fight me, he would say, as she would say this. Uh, wait, really, she would say, as he would say this. Yeah, don't worry, and besides, I won't be using my Kagane this time, he would say. So, I want you to try and, you know, use all of your power. Use your boosted gear as well, he would say. As she would say, wait, that's a little bit crazy, she would say. As he would say this, don't worry, besides, I do have the, you know, the, my, you know, super, you know, my super regeneration mixed with, you know, the, re you know, the regeneration of a phoenix, he would say. As she would say this, but it's still gonna hurt, she would say, as he would say this. Trust me, I've been through worse, he would say. Trust me, I've been through worse, he would say in this mind even more, as he would remember... Let's just say something that starts with P and ends with egg. From, you know, his, you know, you know, 
from his wife back in, you know, back in the bar here, I can tell me a world. You can probably know what it means. <laughs> As after saying that to himself, he would say, All right, now, charge at me with the intent to kill, he would say. As after saying that, she would basically hesitantly, you know, you know, he would, he you know, she would basically, you know, have this hesitance as she would, you know, have her resolve and would start turning towards Izuku. As after doing so, she would try to, you know, punch Izuku with her, you know, sacred gear in, you know, in its, you know, sort of like, you know, well, really state, sort of. As she would say, boost, she would say. As after saying that, the, you know, the gear would start saying boost, 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 boost several times as she would say this, take this, she would say, as she would fire off blast of like energy, as after seeing them he would say, <laughs> as he would charge towards the, you know, blast and would start slicing them with the simple combat knife, which doesn't break, as the balls of energy would basically just like dissolve into nothingness, as she would say, what, as she would just, you know, she would basically be surprised, as before she could say anything else, she would hear, missed, he would say. As after saying that, she would look behind her and would see Izuku holding his combat knife basically towards her neck. As he would say this. Uh, but how, she would say. As he would say this. Like I said, you need to train a little bit more, he would say. As he would say this. Seriously, what did Rias ever teach you, he would say. As she would say this. Um, well, um, she mostly teach me how to just do hand-to-hand -hand combat. And not any defensive stuff, she would say. As you would say this. Hmm. I see, he would say. As after saying that, Izuku would basically you know sit down, as he would say this. Now, um, I want you to train a little bit more, he would say. As she would say this. Um, okay, she would say. As he would say this. But first, he would say, as she would start, you know, seeing Izuku basically holding up his hand. As something would come out of there. As this thing seems to resemble his Rinkaku, but almost resembling, you know, a snake. As after fully formed, it seems to be a large serpent. As easy could say this, I wanted to fight one of my, you know, Rinkaku, that I sort of have the ability now to, you know, separate with them. But mostly my Rinkaku, he would say. As she would say this, wait, really? She would say, as you would say this, yeah. I want to try and fight it. So, charge it with the intent to kill. Got it, he would say. As she would say this, uh, sure, she would say, as after saying that, she would basically go into combat ready stance as she would start turning towards the monster that Izuku created, while he was basically seeing her basically train with his, you know, you know, large ass beast, he would basically grab, you know, something from out of his bag, simple sandwiches, as after grabbing one of the sandwiches, he would start chowing down, and as for, you know, Irina and Zenobia, Irina would say this, hey Izuku, she would say, as he would say this, oh, um, hey Rina, she would, he would say, as she would say this, so, um, do you have any, as he would say this, extra sandwiches? Yeah, he would say, as after, you know, grabbing a few sandwiches, they would say, oh, thank you, they would say, as after, you know, chowing down, they would start looking at, you know, at Issei basically fighting off the large, you know, well, Rinkaku, you know, serpent, as she would say this. So, um, Izuku, um, I wanted to ask, she would say, as Izuku would say this, what is it, Irina, he would say, as she would say this, well, um, um, during your years here without me, how has it been, she would say, as Izuku would just swallow his food, as he would say this, um, pretty normal, I guess, but ever since that, you know, they were, you know, were a certain, you know, old lady, he would say, basically decided to corrupt her mind, not really old lady, I meant old man, as, as Izuku could see this, well, well, let's just say things have been tough, so I have to, you know, you know, stay my distance away from Issei most of the time, but after I got into high school, I would basically try and help her out, mostly out of the kindness of my heart, sometimes he would say, as she would say this, oh, um, I see, she would say, as he would say this, either way, he would start looking towards, you know, well, you know, to Zenobia, as he would say this, um, what about your relationship with, you know, with, you know, Irina, he would say, towards, you know, Zenobia, as she would say this, well, um, we've been friends, she would say, comrades even, she would say, as he would say this, I see, then, um, 
may ask you this, as you would say this. Uh, yeah, she would say, as you would say this. Um, how's it like, basically, you know, um, in the church? I mean, I never really thought of it, but I actually wanted to try and, you know, become a priest. At one point, for some odd reason, he would say, as after hearing this, wait for a second, as after saying that, both of them would just be surprised, as she would say, specifically, you know, Zenovia, not Zenovia, I meant, you know, Irina would say, wait, really? You wanted to become a priest? She would say, as he would say this, yeah, but the most, you know, the reason why is because, you know, well, a stupid video, he would say, as after saying that, she would say, wait, a video, she would say, as Zenovia would just be confused, as he would say this, yeah, <laughs> He would just laugh a little bit, as you would say this, yeah, you see, back, you know, before you basically came back here, and the time where you basically left, I watched this certain video as, you know, I sort of became, you know, sort of in love with it, where a priest basically helped out this young girl in need, and so I decided to maybe become like a, you know, a sort of like, you know, community church member. You know that, like, church over there, he would say, as you would point towards the, you know, woods there, as she would say this. Wait, that place? You mean that abandoned, like, church? Here she would say, as you would say this. Yeah. Um, I actually used to, you know, sort of, like, work there with my parents back before they basically gone overseas. She would say, as she would say this. Really, said, you know, you know, a pretty surprised Zenobia, as you would say this. Yeah, that is where I you know, sort of first, you know, use my powers, he would say. You see, um, there is like a rogue demon, but during the time where I was basically training there, not really training, but more like, you know, just being a nice go you know, a nice guy, basically helping out the church there, well, the rogue demon, or at least the rogue devil, basically terrorized the place, and basically killed everybody, including the guy that I literally considered my, you know, second father, he would say. As Zenobia would say this, wait, Really, she would say with a surprised tone, as he would say this. Yeah, but I sort of gotten over it. Besides, they basically killed the thing, he would say. Eh, it wasn't really delicious, he would say. He would basically start picking his, you know, teeth a little bit, as she would say this. Wait, you ate the rogue devil, she would say, as he would say this. Well, at the time, I thought it was, you know, you know, well, let's just say, you know, well, it kind of looked like a chicken, he would say. As she would say this. But still, you don't really mean to eat that, she would say. As you would say this. Well, I thought it looked like chicken, so I decided to cook it and eat it. But, you know, it was not really satisfying at all. Remember, you know, I, you know, became a sort of like, you know, a, you know, flesh-eating monster, sort of. But, you know, I still had the ability to eat regular old food, but still, he would say. As she would say this. I see, but... Still, it still sounds weird, she would say, as you would say this. Oh, you're telling me, he would say. But after a while, basically talking, you would hear, ha, ha, I did it, she would say, as Izuku would look over, including Zenobia and Irina, as you would see a pretty, you know, you know, tired and flush Issei, basically on top of the dead body of his Rinkaku. As you would say this, hmm, I guess you really did it, he would say, as she would say, wait, Really, she would say, as you would say this. Yeah. Now, time for some more training, he would say. As she would say, oh shit. But <laughs> we go to a little time skip. Now, it's currently about like, you know, five five in the afternoon, as we currently see a panting easy on the ground. As easy could say this. Huh. <sighs> that was pretty much a workout, he would say. I meant, you know, Phew. <sighs> that was a workout, he would say. As she would say this. <sighs> I feel Tired, she would say, as he would say this. Oh, come on, don't be lazy, he would say, as she would say this. I'm a bit tired, Izuku, she would say, as he would say this. Uh, I guess it's getting, you know, pretty late. Uh, he would just sigh, as he would look towards her, as he would say this. Hey, um, hey, Izuku, he would say, as she would say this. Uh, yeah, she would say, here. As he would basically, you know, grab a water bottle, as she would say this. Oh, um, thanks, she would say. As she would basically start drinking it, as he would say this. Um, can you give it back to me? She, he would say, as she would say this. Um, sure. 
as after doing so, Izuku would start, you know, chucking down the bottle, or at least the rest of it, as she would say this to herself, an indirect kiss, she would say, as Izuku would say this, and I know you're thinking that they're, you know, doing like this, you know, indirect kiss business, but, you know, that's sort of childish, she would say, as she would basically be surprised, as you say, yeah, you're childish, she would say, as you'd say this, yeah, yeah, anyway, um, as you'd start looking towards Ina and also, you know, Zenobia, as you'd say this. Hey girls, he would say, as you'd start looking towards Izuku, as you'd say this. It's time for us to leave. As after saying that, he would start looking, you know, towards, you know, well, Easy, as you'd say this. Um, should I bring you back home? He would say, as she would say this. Um, sure, she would say. As Izuku would decide to, you know, help her out. As when he was about to basically, you know, grab her by the arm to basically bring her, you know, bring her on her feet, she would say, ow, ow, as she, he would say this, um, what happened, he would say, as she would say this, I can't feel my legs, she would say, as he would say this, oh, um, as she would say this, um, Izuku, she would say, as he would say this, um, yeah, he would say, as she would say this, um, can you, um, let me go on your back, she would say, as Izuku would blink, and then blink again, and then again, and then said, wait what, as she would say this, um, just this once please, I mean, it's not gonna be that bad, she would say, as he would say this, um, um, sure, he would say, as when he said that, she would basically have this happy smile, as he would say this, um, so, um, as he would start you know, lowering it down, I meant lowering down, as he would say this. Hop on, he would say, as she would say this. Uh, sure. As she would start going on her knees, as she would basically, you know, grab onto Izuku's back by the neck. Or at least, you know, under the arms. As after doing so, Izuku would grab her by her, you know, numb legs, as Izuku would basically, you know, do that. As after doing so, both girls, specifically Zenobia and, you know, and Irina would start becoming a little bit jealous, as Irina would say this. Well, that's a bit, you know, as, you know, Zenobia would say this. Yeah, that was a bit, she would say. As after, you know, saying that to themselves, as Izuku would say this. Come on, girls, he would say. As Irina would say this. Oh, yeah, let's go, she would say. As Irina, as Zenobia would say this. Oh, yeah, let's go, she would say. As after saying that, they would start leaving to go to where, you know, where, you know, Easy lives. As after arriving, you know, Izuku would basically knock on the door. As after, you know, knocking on it, a person would walk, you know, walk outside, and this person was, you know, you know, Easy's mother. As Easy, you know, Easy's mother would say this. Oh, hey, Izuku. As she would look towards, you know, Irina, as she would say, wait, is that you, Irina? She would say, as she would say this. Oh, um, um, hello there, um, you know, um, you know, wait for a second. Hello, um, Miss Ayano, she would say, as she would say this. Oh, um, it's been a while, she would say. So, um, wait, what happened to Easy? she would say, as he would say this. Oh, well, she's sort of gotten a bit tired, and sort of gotten her legs a little bit numb, so I decided to carry her, he would say. As after saying that, she would say, Really then, she would say, as she would have a mischievous smile, as she would say, Alright then, just lay her down on the couch. If you want, I can let you eat dinner here, she would say, as he would say this. Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna be eating, you know, back at home, he would say, as she would say this. Oh, okay then. What about you, Irina? And as she would say this, Zenovia, Zenovia Korda, she would say, as she would say this. Ah, Zenovia san she would say. Um... What about you? Are you... As she would say this. Yeah, we're gonna be staying at, you know, Izuku's home. We've actually been staying there for a while now. As she would say this. And you didn't tell me? Huh. How disappointing, she would say. As she would say this. Um, I guess we were pretty much busy, she would say. As after saying that, she would say this. Anyway, um, just be careful there, she would say. As after saying that, they would basically agree. And so, they would say goodbye to Miss Hayato. AKA, you know, AC's mom. And after doing so, they would finally arrive back home where they were met, you know, where they basically, you know, wait for a second, where they finally met up back with, you know, well, with, you know, with, you know, all three of the, you know, 
of the Fallen Angels, aka Cowwinner, Millet, and also, you know, well, Rainer. And after arriving back home, eating dinner, having a bit of fun, watching TV, and also some movies, they would basically fall to sleep back in their rooms. And also, you know, you know, her, aka, you know, Zenobia, and also, you know, Irina. So, yeah. So, this is going to be the end of this episode, but before you leave, guys, um, I want you to ask, uh, I wanted to ask, in the, you know, ask all of you about this. If you want me to basically make a, you know, a, you know, a, what is that called? A, um, a what if about Izuku basically being in, you know, Azure Lane, or, you know, or I, as I used to call it, you know, uh, Azure Line for some odd reason, you know, if you want me to basically, you know, make a what if about, you know, Azure Lane, then, you know, comment down below. And also, um, I don't really have any ideas for powers for Izuku, but the idea that I currently have right now is basically having the ability to basically copy the abilities of other, you know, well, ship girls, or in this case, ship boy in Izuku's case. Actually, I'm probably gonna be mixing it a little bit with, you know, a certain, you know, um, a certain other, you know, other content creator. I can't remember his slash her name. Actually, I can't remember his slash her gender, but he's a, you know, a texting, you know, a texting story guy, or, you know, channel, where he made a what if about Izuku being, you know, in, you know, Azure Lane, where instead of like, you know, you know, that, instead, you know, Izuku is basically a trap. Yeah, so, if you want me to make a Azure Lane what if, just tell me down below. Anyway, so, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!